Hey DCFM fam, we are gonna go over the chin retractions uh, with all its progressions. So I generally prescribe this exercise for people who have neck pain or uh, upper trap pain is a big one or radiating pain. So pain uh, that goes down into the arm and potentially all the way down to the hand. So there are four progressions to this and I like to start at the very first one on your first visit and then see how you're doing during those movements and then kind of progress you as we go. So if I have only given you chin retractions or chin retractions with overpressure, please stop after. Um, do not progress yourself just so I can uh, gather all the data that I need, okay? So the first one is going to be chin retractions. And I like to think of my chin on a shelf and then we're just sliding it straight back. I also call this the mini chins exercise because you will give yourself lots of chins. So uh, chin retractions. And notice how I keep a nice neutral neck. I'm not allowing the shoulders to get involved. They're not scrunching like this. Keep them nice and down and back. And that's gonna be your shoulder or your chin retraction rather. And then you also have a chin retraction with overpressure. So you're gonna add the overpressure yourself. So you go chin retraction, and then I'm gonna take a few of my fingers and push back a little bit farther. You should feel a nice deep stretch through the back here and potentially a little bit of discomfort. Uh, the more you do it, the better uh, the symptoms should feel, but just FYI, you might feel a little discomfort while doing this, especially if you have um, some suboccipital pain or pain right below the skull or even some pain right where um, the neck meets the shoulders. So chin retraction with overpressure, chin retraction with overpressure. Again, if I have not progressed you, please stop there. Uh, the next one will be chin retraction with extension. So I'm gonna do my chin retraction and then I'm gonna extend back as far as I can. Again, you may feel some pain during this movement. I feel most of my, I, I should say discomfort. I feel most of my discomfort or like a stretch type of feeling down where the neck kind of meets the shoulder area, but I do get some patients that have uh, some discomfort up in that suboccipital or right below the skull region. So just be aware of that. So chin retraction with extension, chin retraction with extension. Notice how I'm controlling my extension going back. I see a lot of people kind of flop it back. I want you to control this movement. So you're controlling the muscles that are allowing your head to go into that extension. And again, if you feel lots of pain, even right here, just touch the pain and come back and then as you keep doing more reps, you should be able to get deeper into that. I also like to look up and back with my eyes because it does activate a few extra muscles doing that. And then the last one is chin retraction with extension with overpressure. Okay, so we already did the overpressure with the chin retraction, so this should be pretty familiar to you, but we are gonna do chin retraction extension then i'm going to take two of my thumbs and then push it a little bit farther and again the intensity of the stiffness or the pain or whatever you want to call it the tightness uh, may increase as you add that little extra overpressure. so chin retraction control the movement back looking up with the eyes push into a little bit more It's important that we do many reps of this because we are trying to loosen up or lubricate the joints in the posterior part of the neck. And the more repetitions we do, the better those joints will start to move a little bit more freely and a little bit more, um, those muscles will kind of calm down and start to release, especially in that upper trap area. Thanks for watching.